Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. In the last section, we got into the nitty-gritty details of what it means to have a solution of equations like this when we have an infinite set of solutions. We called it a dependent, uh, so, uh, a dependent set of equations, or, or a solution that was dependent on the value of k that we select, or the value, in that case, of z that we select there. So we're going to work another problem, uh, and that will be as follows. x plus 2y minus 6 times z is equal to 11. x plus 4y plus 4z is equal to 5. And then 3x plus 10y plus 2z is equal to 21. All right. Now, I'll tell you ahead of time, this is also going to be dependent as well. You cannot tell by looking at the system of equations outright that it's going to behave that way. So let's write our matrix. 1, 2, negative 6, 11, 1, 4, 4, 5, 3, 10, 2, 21. Now in the last problem, um, what I did is I just drew an arrow and I said, hey, there's some row reduction here. You're going to end up with this matrix. I wanted to skip those steps there because mostly what I wanted to focus on was the end game. What you get once you arrive at that, how do you arrive at the dependent form of the solution? Uh, an infinite set of solutions for a set of equations like this. Here I'm going to go and work all the steps of the row reduction to show you how you basically cannot get a diagonal matrix all the time and how it leads to this infinite set of, of, um, of uh, solutions. So we have a 1 already here. So the next step in row reduction is we want to put a 0 underneath my leading column, which is already in this case a 1. So I'm going to leave the first row alone, 1, 2, negative 6, 11. And then I want to get a 0 here. So I'm going to say negative row 1 plus row 2. I'm doing, multiplying this row times negative 1 and adding it. So I'm going to get a 0 here. Negative 2 plus this will give me 2. Negative times this will give me 6. So then 6 plus 4 is 10. And then negative 11 plus this guy is going to give me negative 6. So that gives me that. And at the same time, I can make this a 0 by multiplying this row by negative 3. So negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3. I'm not attempting to make this 0. So when I multiply this by negative 3 and add it, I get a 0. Negative 3 times this would give me negative 6 plus 10 is positive 4. Negative 3 times this is going to be positive 18 plus 2 is 20. And then negative 3 times this is going to give me negative 33 plus 21, which will give me negative 12. All right, so so far I have done exactly what I have set out to achieve. I've got zeros underneath here. The next thing I want to do is put